Hi guys, I'm Tina from Makeup Wearables, and this week I'm partnering up with Redkin to show you guys a couple of really easy and super cute fall and winter hairstyles. But first, I'm going to show you guys what I used in my hair today to get my voluminous hair texture. So I always start my routine with an oil, and since the weather is getting colder and so much drier, hello static season, I love this intensely hydrating argan oil with omega-6 from Redkin. This oil is so concentrated that you only need a drop, so I applied it just on my ends and then combed it out. And by the way guys, although I was on a box full of hair products from Redkin, I was not asked to use or see any particular thing. So what you guys see today are things that I personally picked out because I love them and I thought some of you might like them as well. And then I use the volume spray foam because who doesn't like more volume? I spray this all over my roots and then rubbed it in. And instead of my usual hair gel, because I do have hard to curl hair, I use this on my ends as well. So you can if you want to. Next, I use the Pillow Proof, which is my favorite product from the Red Can Box. Basically, this is a hair primer. So your hair is going to dry faster. It's going to protect your hair from heat. And because it's one of those oil and water product, you have to shake this before you use it. But because it has oil in it, it will make your hair shinier. It was just amazing. You have to go check this one out. And then I flip my head upside down to dry my hair with just my fingers and a blow dryer. Then once my hair is dry, I'm going to use my setting lotion Hot Set 22 from Redkin that I've been using in most of my how to curl tutorials and in my last week's tutorial as well. So I'm just going to speed through this. And now for our first hairstyle, to bring in a heavy-duty glamour, I'm going to use my Luxury for Princess hair extensions. In the cold months, I like to use hair extensions because they keep my head warm. Take your crown and tie it with an elastic band. And then we're going to make a bump with the ponytail by pushing it upwards and pinning it in place with two bobby pins. And then take some hair from the right, twist it once and pin it over the other bobby pins. Then take some hair from the opposite side, twist it once to create a French twist effect, pull out the edges to create a softer look before pinning it. Watch me pin this in place using hair pins. And when you're done, mist it lightly with a hairspray. I'm using the Redken hairspray here, the same ones I used in last week's tutorial. Okay, so you can always wear it like this, simple and elegant. But I'm going to show you guys another style. To fix our limp curls, this is what we're going to do. Grab a section and twist it lightly before hairspraying it. Once the hairspray is dried, we can pull out the sides to plump up the curl. Now we're going to grab another section on the opposite side and repeat the same process. But instead of dropping it this time, we're going to make a loop to form a pin curl before pinning it over the half updo. And for this next super lazy hairstyle, I'm going to first use the Redkin's Wax Blast Finishing Spray Wax to put the dirt back into my clean hair. You guys all know what a pain in the butt it is to do hairstyles on clean hair. So what hair waxes do is add grip and texture into an otherwise boring, flat, and slippery hair. Okay, so now I'm going to gather my top and the sides to do a loose a very loose, normal braid. You have to make sure it's loose, okay? After tying the ends, spray the braid with some hairspray to control any flyaways. Now, take a 3-inch bobby pin and secure one side of the braid down. Then, simply fold the braid over once and pin it in place. It should now look like you have a French twist with a braided ends. And for this next easy lazy hairstyle, if your hair is too clean, use the wax blast to create some texture and then make a side part. Now we're going to section out the crown and the heavy side. But look at my part here guys, it's almost an inch behind the ear. 
And then we're just going to make a simple ponytail with the rest. Okay, so now take the top and the side section and twist it towards the ponytail. Use some hairspray if you're going for a neat look like I'm doing here. Then wrap the twist around the elastic. And using your other hand, insert two fingers through the elastic so you can grab the twist to pull through it. And we're done! And then to add on to this cute pony, I'm going to do a quick fishtail braid using my hack method. If you're new to my channel, you should, well, first of all, subscribe. But my hack method is simply splitting your hair in half, inserting two index fingers through the sides, and then grabbing the opposite hair with your index finger. And throughout the braiding process, I'm using the wax blast to control flyaways and also because it gives my hair a satin matte finish, which is more in style right now than the shiny looking braids. And then just pull out the edges of the braid to make it bigger and we're done! Let me know your favorite look from today down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out Reckon products that I picked out for you by clicking on the link below. And as always, thank you for supporting Makeup Wearables hairstyles. I love you guys. Bye!